What's up homies? I am ZoTV here, still using iPhone 4S under iOS 9.3.5. Kamusta naman ang performance? Well, alam ko na sagot mo dyan. For today's video, yan ang gagawin natin. Kaya don't you worry, magagawa natin ang paraan yan. Without further ado, let's get started. Back up all your files and make sure na alam nyo yung Apple ID nyo. If ever mag-reset tayo ng phone para wala tayong maging problema. First, we need to jailbreak our device. Hindi ko na ituturo kung paano. At dyan sa taas, on how to jailbreak iOS 9.3.5. Antayin lang natin matapos yung procedure. Kapag na-jailbreak na yung device, you open nyo lang yung Cydia, then add nyo yung ripong ito. After mag-add ng repo, search nyo lang yung Filza, then install nyo. Next step ay kailangan natin malaman yung build ID ng device. Gagamitin natin to later para sa pag -e edit ng system version.plist. Just go to ipsw.me at piliin nyo lang yung device nyo. Yung gagawin natin ngayon ay iPad Touch 5th Gen which is using iOS 9.3.5. Tapos meron din 4S tayong gagawin at the same time. Kapag nahanap nyo na yung device nyo, for iPhone 4S na gagamitin ko ay yung IPSW na iOS 6 at yung build ID is 108403. Siyempre, it depends sa model pa din ang device nyo. At para sa iPad Touch naman, uh, gagamitin natin ay IPSW na iOS 6 with build ID 10A406. Once nakuha na natin yung product version, which is yung iOS version at build ID, pwede na natin i-edit si system version that is Double check lang natin ulit yung iOS version. As you can see, it's still running on iOS 9.3.5. Next na gagawin natin ay mag edit na tayo ng file. Like I said before, need natin yung fields para magawa natin to at ang product version at build ID. Now we have all that. Open Filza and navigate to System, Library, then Core Services. Scroll down nyo lang until you find System version that is. Open it. Just tap on the root, drop down, and change the product version which is 6.0. After that, Tap on the product build version, which is mine, 10A406, and change it accordingly. Don't forget to save before you exit. Again, make sure na nalagout nyo na yung Apple ID nyo, or you still know your Apple ID password before tayo mag-erase content. Once done editing, go to settings, general, erase content all content and settings and just wait to finish the process so papas forward na lang natin yung procedure Tell me that you're mine 
Makes me thin, it makes me thin, I ain't nobody perfect Finally, natapos na tayo mag-downgrade. Madali lang siya gawin. Siyempre, ang uh, isa sa disadvantage nito ay yung mga app na ita-download natin sa App Store. Very limited. But in terms of performance, siyempre, malaki yung difference. I know there are still a lot of people who still use iPhone 4S. I'm one of those because this is my first iPhone kaya gan po siya kamahal. So, yun lang. Thank you for watching. See you on my next video. Lagi ko sinasabi, stay safe. God bless. Peace.